Hello and welcome to the Hit It workout. This workout is really focusing on cardio. We need that sometimes. We get cardio in all the workouts that I have, but sometimes we need to focus a little more on the cardio, and this workout really focuses on that. Uh, you're going to have some strength benefits of it as well, and especially if you're a beginner. This is a back to basic workout, so it's simple exercises. You can do this whoever you are and whatever age you are and you just need to modify it some. So don't be discouraged if I do the exercises and you think that you could never do them like me. Maybe you can't yet, but you will. You have to start somewhere and I will give you variations for beginners, so keep watching. Now, you're going to start with jump lunges and jump lunges is where you put your, knees apart, your feet apart like this then you're gonna lower yourself so that you have 90 degrees in your front and your back leg. Make sure your knee is directly over your ankle. So it's not forward like this. Go back. Now you're gonna jump and switch legs. Like that. If you're a beginner, maybe you can't do the jumps yet. It demands a lot of force and a lot of balance. So start with your feet together, and then take a big step back, and then go down into the lunge. Step forward, and switch legs. You're gonna do this instead. So you're gonna do as many as you can for 30 seconds, and then you will have 10 seconds to write down how many you could do for those 30 seconds. And write down for every exercise and for every round because you're going to compare yourself later. Next exercise is going to be crab kicks. So go down to the crab position here, lift your butt from the ground, and lift one foot. Now push your hips up, like, but you can kind of rolling them up because you're dragging your uh, tailbone un up underneath you like this and when you get to the top you can stretch a little bit out in your chest so make sure that you're lifting with your hips not your back it's very easy to do something like this I did that a lot before and believe me it's not good for your back so be be very careful with the form so you're gonna again lift one foot push up as high as you can Move down and switch legs like this. And you're going to do as many as you can for 30 seconds. Third exercise is going to be burpees. So put your hands down to the ground, jump or step out in the plank position, do a push up, jump back forward, and out towards the ceiling. Like that. If you're a beginner, then you will put your hands down to the ground, step out in the blank, make sure to step out in the blank. If you're jumping out, it will be bad for your back if you're a beginner. So step out, put your knees in, do the push up, go back into the plank, jump forward. You can jump forward, that's okay. Rise up and do a little jump at the top. So that's beginners. Great exercise, do as many as you can for 30 seconds. Uh, fourth exercise is going to be plank switch or plank swap. And there are several ways to do this one. Um, first level, or easiest way to do it, is to put your hands to the ground, get out in the plank position, now put one knee down and turn it over to the side like this. Go back into the plank, put one knee in, and turn over to the side. Like that. It's the easiest variation to do. Now, one step further is to stay in the plank position, then just turning over to the side with the straight body, and back down to the plank, and switch side, like this. Next, it's 
going to be lifting one leg, turning over, stretching out, going back into the plank, switching the legs, turning, stretching, and so on. Now the absolute hardest variation here to do is, and you will need to have some, I have a little, my pants are a little too long, so I'm afraid I'm going to just uh, not, you know, could be able to, <laughs> to stand on the floor. I'll be, I'll be sliding backwards or something, but <laughs> I'll try to show you. Anyway, <laughs> you go into the plank position <laughs> and really, and lifting one leg, going over to the side, and then you're going to try to lift your hips and your leg up in the air like this, going back down to the plank and then to the other side, like this. That's the absolute hardest way to do it. So you're gonna, you're gonna be able to progress this one a long time. It's a great exercise. And it really targets your core and your abs. Now, next exercise is gonna be dragon skaters. So start with your feet together. Take a big jump to the side. Cross your leg b behind you. Take a big lunge back and touch the floor on the side of your heels. Take a big jump, cross back, move back into the lunge, touch the floor here. So that's what it looks like. If you're a beginner, skip the jump, just take a big step, cross back as long as you can and really cross it back. Try to touch the ground, and then again, step over, and do the same thing on that side. Make sure to keep your back straight, chest up, so don't round your back. I don't want you to look something like this. Keep your chest up. Okay. The last exercise, really basic, just simply running with high knees. So tuck your knees up and run as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Now, if you're a beginner, you can't run, then walk, walk it. Lift your knees as high as you can. Just do the best you can. Make sure to really get, you know, your breath up, your heart rate up, uh, get your sweat on, and get in shape, because this is how to do it. 12 minutes intense training that's what you need that's everything you need and i'll be here with you so let's work out together Fifteen. Twenty. Burpees.
leg switch. Giant skaters. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. Hey, Groupies. One. Two. Five. 
10. Switch.
Okay, that's it. That's the workout. 12 minutes. 12 minutes, true cardio. You're gonna love to hate this one. Because it's, it's pure hate all the, all the way. But it feels so great. And even though, even though I hate being in pain, even though I don't, I feel like in the middle of the workout that I want to quit. I do have fun with this. May not, may not sound like that, and may not, may not maybe see him like that, but I have a lot of fun with this. Twelve minutes. You can do that. It's nothing. So just get to it. Twelve minutes, true cardio, high intensity, and you're you're really gonna feel this one tomorrow. So, tell me what you thought of the workout, and follow my workout schedules. They're out on my Facebook page and my G Plus page. So, you can find them there. You have three to choose from, depending on your fitness level. So you can do the beginner, you can do the back to basic, or you can do the advanced workout. No, the, the advanced schedule. So, the back to basic and the advanced schedule has four days Four, four workout days a week. The beginner schedule has two workout days a week, plus a couple of challenges, daily challenges. It's, it's to get in shape, it's to, this is what you need. This is all you need. So keep a clean diet and just, you know, do something for yourself. and. Discover what, what it's all about. It's about being happy in your own body. Doesn't mean you need to have, you know, zero body fat or being, you know, totally ripped. It's about being in shape. It's about feeling strong, being strong. It's about being strong minded because work out, working out on a daily basis, on a regular basis, will actually make you strong minded. You can take on whatever life throws at you. And I can guarantee that. I've had life thrown at me so many times. And right now I'm in the middle of a crisis at home. But I'm dealing with it. And I'm trying to see the upsides. And it's going really well. It's still a crisis, it's not resolved yet. But I deal with it. And I I do it pretty good, if I may say so myself. And that's what it's all about. But I need these workouts to, you know, clear my head sometimes. It's a little break from your mind. There's these physical workouts, are, they make a little break in your day. And after that, you will be filled with lots of hormones that will make you feel great with yourself. And that will make you feel happy. And that will make it so much easier to deal with whatever you have to deal with in your life. So do this one step at a time, and I promise you, you'll discover what the passion is about. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.